Kelly right here with Frag Dolls at Penny Arcade Expo 2008 at the Ubisoft booth, and we are here with the creative director, Clint Hawking of Far Cry 2. So what can you tell me about the Jackal? About the Jackal? The Jackal. The Jackal is the, the ne nemesis. He's the enemy. He's the, more than that, he's the sort of yardstick against who you're going to have to measure yourself. The whole game is about trying to hunt down and kill the Jackal. He's an arms dealer selling guns to both sides in this sort of factional conflict that's caused this country to completely fall apart. The way we talk about it is we say the journey to find the Jackal is the journey to become him. You're really going to have to understand him before you can beat him. Awesome. Sounds good. So in this journey, in this open world, um, what was the challenge in creating an open world like this? <laughs> Uh, the challenges of making 50 square kilometer open world uh, with the sort of high level of graphical fidelity that, you know, Far Cry requires just a, as a brand and, and also that just we wanted to achieve ourselves uh, were, were immense. I mean, we had to build the engine from scratch, uh, the Duty engine. We started working on it over three and a half years ago just in order to deliver a totally seamless uh, open world experience with no loading at any time uh, with all of those beautiful graphics. You know, we have a team of something like over, over 40 engineers who've been working on this Thing for three years, uh, working very closely with the designers to define all of our needs and everything. There's a 24-hour day-night cycle, uh, and it's a living world where everything is dynamic. You know, every single blade of grass, every tree, every branch on every tree, every leaf, all of it can blows in the in the procedural wind, right? Uh, and the weather is dynamic as well. So you know, some days it will be clear and sunny and bright and hot. Other days it will be overcast, cast and windy. You know, there'll be storms, there'll be rainstorms. Fire propagates through all of this stuff. So if I go out in like the dry, dusty savanna with a Molotov cocktail and throw it in the grass, it's just going to burn slowly, creeping, propagating through the grass. If it gets to a tree, it'll propagate up the tree. The branches will break off in the fire, catch the grass again. Oh, flamethrower. That sounds so awesome. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, what kind of multiplayer features and community content do you have? So on the multiplayer side, uh, we're supporting four multiplayer modes. There's a, a standard deathmatch mode, a team deathmatch mode, a capture the flag mode where you're stealing diamonds from the two warlords. But then there's also a new mode that we've created called Uprising which is kind of a control point uh, mode where one of the characters plays the captain of the team and his job, he's the only character who can capture the control points. So it's a really heavily team focused mode. On top of that, we have, we're shipping with 14 maps uh, to, that all of those modes are supported in and, and a map editor, uh, which, you know, there's videos for it online. I'm going to be doing a demo of it here in a little while. But the map editor allows players to build maps as good as what you see in the game literally in just a couple hours. Really, really awesome. And that's on PS3, Xbox 360, and on PC as well. So speaking of this demo, um, I heard you guys had a sound check earlier today. Yeah. How did that go? That was awesome. I mean, I guess they're, they're setting up the, the theater down there because there's like a live band that plays or something. I didn't see who they were, but they were doing their sound test. So, you know, with all of the amps and all of the speakers and the monitors and everything, we're doing the, we're doing the sound test of the game and they had it. Oh man, the sound is just incredible. I mean, my teeth were shaking and I was firing the AK. I fired a rocket and like, the, the whoosh sound from the rocket was coming out of the monitors in front of me so loud that I, it felt like wind coming off of the back of the rocket. It was just incredible. Like I've never felt something so pounding and so immersive as having like this 25 point surround stereo sound system like cranked up to 25. It was just, it was mind blowing. It was incredible. Get a 5-1 system for Far Cry, a 7-1 system. You heard it yourself guys from Clint Hawking. Thank you very much. My pleasure. And it's Tyra of the Frag Dolls signing out.